Climate change, defined as extended changes in weather patterns, continues to be a top priority for government. They believe that climate change and environmental issues only affect some of us and is a problem for the distant future is a misconception. Climate change affects us all. When drought ravages our crops and there are outbreaks of bushfires, we all pay higher prices at the market. And through the Office of the Prime Minister, stakeholders continue to boost Jamaica's response to climate change. One focus area, climate change and the agricultural sector. The agricultural sector is significant to Jamaica's economy, contributing over 6.5% to the country's gross domestic product. It also creates employment, feeds the nation, saves foreign exchange through the importation of less food items, and provides raw material to those in the agro-processing sector. Through the Jamaica Rural Economy and Ecosystems Adapting to Climate Change JARICH 2 project, initiatives continue to help farmers mitigate against climate change so that the agricultural sector is not severely affected. The project is funded by the United States Agency for International Development and implemented by the Government of Jamaica. USA through the JAW REACH 2 project will continue efforts to enhance Jamaica's adaptive capacity to climate change through, through the provision of increased access to information that aids decision making. And so JAW REACH 2 is helping to strengthen the capacity of the Meteorological Service of Jamaica so they can provide extensive climate data to farmers through the Climate Smart Agricultural Tool. Why? Some farmers in Jamaica depend on rainfall, and with a change in rainfall patterns, there has to be a change in farming practices. Our Climate Smart tools will allow us to have longer lead time, like three to six months, if we're looking at drought forecast. And it also allows us to look at forecasts at a community level, something that we've never used to do before. And now we're doing this first in Jamaica and the first in the region. With that information, farmers can determine what to do, when to do it, where to do it, and in the case of crops, what types are more suitable for planting during a specific period. We have a database now with over 600 farmers in there that will send them free text messages whenever there is a pending drought, whenever there is a flood. So what has been the impact? A survey showed that farmers who received and used the information were better able to respond to recent drought conditions. For those who were not exposed to the information, their production was negatively impacted by about 72%. Compared to a farmer who attended the farmer's forum, was exposed to the drought tool, the impact on his production was just about 39%. So right away you see where the tool is actually working. To strengthen the system, the Met Office is moving to collect more information to pass on to farmers. So we intend to increase the number of weather stations and this will increase the forecast um, that we have going out on a monthly basis. A memorandum of understanding was signed in March 2016 to install 36 additional automated weather stations across the island. The $18 million project will benefit over 500 farmers under the JARICH program. The stations will be managed by the Met Office, the National Irrigation Commission and the Rural Agricultural Development Authority. So government through a partnership with various stakeholders is working to minimize the impact of climate change on the agricultural sector. Collecting the information, passing it on to farmers, developing policies, and working to implement best practices that will benefit society. There is no doubt that the future strategies to deal with climate change will depend upon sound knowledge of past and present climate in our nation and in our region. Together, we must all recommit to adapting to and mitigating the impacts of climate change. For more information on Jamaica's climate, visit agrilinksja.com and jamaicaclimate.net.